Guys, we just recently talked about Quant and what they're trying to do with, with their overledger technology. You know, they're they're taking over and sitting on top of the enterprise permission blockchains as well as the public permissions list blockchains like Stellar, IOTA, Bitcoin. Um, but what we're really here for is the enterprise permission blockchains because these ones are the ones that are going to be handling trillions of dollars, quadrillions of dollars of value. You know, you got the Hyperledger, you got Corda, you got Ripple and Ethereum. But the most important ones here are Ripple, Corda, and Hyperledger. Hyperledger is already connected to Quant, XDC, Via, Corda, or R3 and their consortium. These are basically, you know, connected in some way. So why does this matter? It's because this coin right here is part of the ISO 222 ecosystem family. You know, Synfin is what launched the platform Trade Phoenix. And this platform right here is very, very useful for financiers, for buyer suppliers, brokers, as well as um, just, you know, other platforms that can leverage the, the, you know, delegated proof of stake, which is basically what, what this hybrid blockchain is, uh, very highly secure. Um, and then it's immune to 51% attacks. So this is one of the reasons why these, these, uh, enterprises are going to choose XTC for trade finance. And similar markets is because it, it works. It just works. You're not going to choose something that, you know, that's brand new when this already works. Even if they come out with something better, more efficient, and more scalable than the XTC, it still won't come near as close to as secure and as, as stable as this asset right here, as this network. Um, and the reason why it's very stable and, and, and also secure is because of the way that, you know, institutions are able to pretty much own the master nodes if you hold enough tokens which is around 10 million of these xcc coins you can own the master node and that's you can earn passive income back in xcc coins and, and that's one way you can secure the network from attacks and, and from bad actors but look trade phoenix is basically the product that synfin platform launched it's a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer platform for trade finance originators to distribute deals to a wide range of bank or non-bank funders, uncovering new liquidity pools. Trade Phoenix supports various key instruments such as invoices, letters of credit, guarantees, bills of lading, and it's also compatible and interoperable. Key word right here, interoperable, right? In order for these coins to fully work in this new financial system, they have to be interoperable. Otherwise, they will not be chosen. They'll be set aside. They'll be ignored. They will be a part of the 99.9% .9 of coins that don't make it that Brad Garlinghouse was alluding to when he was talking about how most of them are going to disappear because they're all Ponzi schemes except for the real utility-based coins, assets in this space. So with the leading trade finance dig digitization platforms already in this market. So what that means is that this platform that Synfin la launched, which is Trade Phoenix, it is also compatible and interoperable with the trade finance digitization platforms that are already existing in this market that includes corda so if you go up here that includes these platforms right here corda is one of them if you go here um you, you can see how r3 and corda are together you know this is a part of hyperledger and their members and you can see what they're trying to do they're they're um, open source um and open development meaning any institution that is you know that has kyc and aml um you know that's compliant with that that it could develop on this network basically and and this is you know offers so many solutions to them where they can save money and and it's a global blockchain ecosystem essentially uh, the partners of r3 you know we already know that includes accenture which is already mentioned here on this you know iso 222 family ecosystem and then you got you know, amazon web services on top of that so you know the customers what kind of customers does r3 have is you know customers in supply chain telecommunications insurance energy digital assets capital markets digital identity healthcare real estate government technology digital currency trades finance this is the this is that market that i mentioned that's massive that's 12 trillion dollars so you know use cases and consortiums of r3 quarter pretty much labels their involvement with these companies right here some of these are banks and insurance providers. You got Geico, you got American Family Insurance, Farmers Insurance, you even got you know Liberty Mutual, Amerisure, 
bunch of other you know companies right here and you know it shows that this is one of their use cases because with the insurance they want to collect information for insurance claims reduce fraudulence with immutable and verifiable data data one way they can do that is obviously by putting all these insurance claims on the blockchain through the r3 quarter which is leveraging the symphony network xtc token um you know hopefully this is all making sense guys this is why we're investing in this asset it's because it has many use cases thanks to corda leveraging it so without corda xtc you know really can't go far I, i'm just gonna say it like that because it, it's true i mean you got all these companies man that are just waiting waiting for regulatory clarity so that they can start leveraging all that uh, and then start putting you know all their documents data and, and claims you know information and transactions on the blockchain they're just wait, waiting to put that on there just you know so everything can become smooth and and effortless and save them time and money because this is really what they're here for these institutions don't care what coin is being utilized or leveraged they just want to work with the company that you know guarantees security and also stability and once they once they got that security and stability like Chris, christine lagarde said um then you got you got everything you know you they're, they're in they're in and they're not they're not going to settle for anything less so this is why they can't use any other coins even if there's other coins out there that are better than than symphon symphon already has all these partnerships established with r3 corda so they're not going to start over and, and start finding a new asset that is potentially unsecure is potentially uh, open to 51 percent attacks because it's the normal you know proof of stake or whatnot this is game changing and i hope you guys can see this as you know just like i see this as uh potentially um you know one of the better assets out there because 99 percent of them are not going to make it and and you better hope that you're invested into that point zero not zero one percent whatever that is of of uh of tokens that are going to survive regulations and are going to be utility coins uh in this new financial system and look you know corda is working with pretty much everything that that is like relevant when it comes to finance and trade finance all that stuff it's a 12 trillion dollar you know industry very massive and look this this is why people will choose the synthin network this is why corda is even using it in the first place it's because of the benefits of the hybrid blockchain so you know this is distinguishable from the fact that they are not open to everyone but still offers blockchain features such as integrity transparency and security as usual hybrid blockchain is entirely customizable so the members of the hybrid blockchain can decide who could take participation in the blockchain or which transactions are made public this brings the best of both worlds and ensures that a company can work with their stakeholders in the best possible way so hybrid meaning it can be private and public you know they can you know choose depending on what the um the members want and, and what's you know going to be better for them and look it works in a closed ecosystem changes the rules when needed so it, it's very it can adapt to changes in technology and, and in regulations and then look protecting from 51 percent attacks so the hybrid blockchain is immune to 51 percent attacks as hackers cannot have access to the network to carry out the attack so there you go you take away their access to the network and they can't do anything and all those you know transactions and all that data that's on the blockchain that's on the hybrid blockchain via corda and symphon network you know that all that is immutable meaning you can't change it it makes per it makes perfect sense for an insurance company to 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 partner with corda so that all their stuff can be secure on the blockchain and safe um forever so it's protecting privacy while still communicating with the outer world low transaction costs so the transaction fees can reduce to even 0 0.1 cent per transaction but if you go to their web website right here, Symfin could tell you that it's it's much more scalable, more efficient because their transactions only cost 0 0.00001 of a U.S. dollar. So that's the average fee, um, and this is third generation th a digital asset. Guys, so Symfin has really good tokenomics. I mean, you could tell by the amount of coins that are circulating. It's only 12 billion. Compare that to Cardano, XRP, and XLM. This is very insignificant really i mean if you look at the grand scheme of things this is this is very new um it's only been around since like you know the beginning of or like the beginning of 2018 so really 
you know, XRP has been here since 2013. Think longer than that even. So just goes to show you, man, how scalable and future proof this is going to end up being in the future. Just based on the fact that, you know, it's a lot newer. Um, it's already also like partnered with Corda since the beginning of its inception. Like they already had um, plans of what it was going to do, what market or industry was going to take over. They, they launched Trade Phoenix. They wasted no time. So one of the things that's going to also unlock value to us holders of uh, the XDC coin is the fact that Flare Finance just announced their partnership with Synfin Network. You know, this true interoperability and this DeFi market is going to basically unlock value for us holders because of staking, because of a lot of the things and capabilities that are going to be um, available to us holders. And you know, it's all without us giving our private keys away. So this is hopefully going to allow us to keep our rights and our coins to ourselves. And we won't give up that, you know, privacy. Um, so everything will be secure on the blockchain. Uh, you know through the use of smart contracts now the volume's looking healthy I think it's up like 50% in the past 24 hours I don't know if this is wrong this could be wrong because coin market cap tends to be incorrect sometimes but oh it looks yeah it looks like it's right so yeah we had like a low volume of 3 to 4 billion in the past week um, past two weeks actually we've been suffering from low volume and now it's like finally increasing to close to 6 million so you know, the closer we get to 10 million, 20 million, you know, this is where we start getting those price increases, where we start, you know, seeing a lot of activity on the network, a lot of traffic, and this is what also translates into price because the more people making transactions and the more coins are being burnt, as you guys can see by, there's only been like 700,000 that has been burnt in this whole network. And right now there's currently 1.5 billion XCC tokens are staked. So this is locked up, meaning that this is a, this is taken away from exchanges and what ends up happening is as more institutions are staking this through the use of master notes and sending them up earning daily rewards and stuff the the more demand is going to be because there's going to be less out there you know it's a more demand and less availability of these coins it's going to increase the price tremendously so those are those are like the ingredients to a price increase that happens um with time and everything but it but it's something that's sustainable, you know, because the more eventually more will be staked. And, and now, thanks to Flare Finance partnering with Zenfin, you know, there you go, unlocking value. Same thing with XRP. It's, it's partnering with all the utility coins that matter, that are relevant in this market anyway. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it useful. Sorry if I was rambling a bit, but just wanted to make a point that this is going to be massive in the future as well as Quant, XRP, and XLM, and Algorand. These coins right here that I just mentioned. Are really all that you should even focus on if anything um, when it comes to investing and get into these assets uh, especially this one because the other ones that are, that are part of this ISO 222 family these are already just have been added to coinbase before so they've already they're already a part of like tier one exchanges the only one that's left out of tier one exchanges is trade finance the trade Phoenix coin which is the Synfin coin this is a coin that is actually gonna give you a better ROI in the short to medium term just because it hasn't been added to tier one exchanges right kucoin is not a tier one exchange kucoin exchange only has 2.5 billion dollars worth of volume a day this is not this is far from tier one this is not even close but tier one is basically binance us binance and then also coinbase which will provide a lot more liquidity and stuff so get in before the fact get in before this takes you by surprise you know quant took a lot of people by surprise you know, Quant was flying under the radar. Well, I'm here to tell you that now that that's been added to a tier one exchange, you know, for example, Coinbase, now it's on the map. But the coin that's next up that I want to, you know, get into and, and talk more about is this one because this is still, in my opinion, very undervalued. It's flying under the radar. I keep mentioning this. Can't stress this enough. Like I said, get in before the hype, get in before a tier one exchange because once it gets on there, there's no guarantee that it's going to come back to these prices ever again with all that added liquidity and, and, and price appreciation that can result from it. So, yeah, again, if you guys enjoyed this content, definitely subscribe for more. Leave a like if you're liking these recent videos that I've been posting about these New World Order coins. Leave a comment. 
and and tell me like if you have any suggestions for future uploads let me know um what i should post next if you feel that i should make videos on different coins and see y'all later i'm out